back with another video. I hope you guys are well. I'm getting into the swing of making regular videos again now, which is great. Really enjoying it. Finally got my hair done. Like, oh my God, the salons were closed due to lockdown. Finally in the UK, the salons reopened recently. So I've got my hair sorted out, which I'm so thrilled about. Hope everyone's been good. Um, drop in the comments below um, how you've been doing and what you've been up to. I'm super excited for the studios to reopen as well. Anyway, today's video is going to be all about box paste or box glue. I'm going to talk to you about the variations that we have in Grishko or Nikolai, if you're in the US, in our point shoes. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is the box, these are the wings, this is the platform. Now, these parts of the shoe are made with different types of fabrics, materials, and the glue or the paste holds those materials or layers together to create that hardness. Now, as a brand, we have some fantastic variations in our pastes, and I'm going to use this chance today to talk to you about it, educate you about it, and tell you, you know, the different feelings you might get from these pastes and what ones you may prefer, um, and what we can do in special order as well. So it's going to be a super fun video. I'm going to show you, first of all, a little video clip that Grishko and Nikolai have put together about where the paste is made in the factory. It's super cool and also features um, some really little kind of tidbits of information that you may not know already. So we'll watch that first and stay tuned because straight afterwards, I'm gonna go straight in with all the information you could possibly need to know about our box pastes. So stay tuned. I want to talk through a little bit about what Grishko or Nikolai, um, for you guys in America, say about the pastes or the glues, um, depends how you want to call it. You can call it the paste or the glue. I like to call it the paste personally. Anyway, first of all, they tell us um, the box of all Grishko Nikolai point shoes is made from natural materials. This makes them breathable and safe for your skin. Jute, nettle and cotton are used in the fabrics 
and the natural materials work really well in order to keep the dancer's feet healthy. Now that to me is super great to know. I mean, obviously I already knew it, but that's of course one of the many reasons I love um, the brands because I really like the fact that we use natural materials and they really care about the foot health. Now, um, we as a brand have so much option with paste and I'm really excited to tell you more about it. Also, when they mean breathable, of course, now think about it, your foot is in this shoe and if you're, <laughs> if you're a professional or dancing training, you're in point shoes a lot. So, you know, some dancers sweat more than others. So it's very important that, you know, you can keep your feet nice and healthy. You're not going to get fungal toenail infections or anything crazy like that. But also um, we have antiseptic properties in our paste as well. So even better. Next up, I'm going to speak to you now a little bit about what they say about the types of glue or paste that we have. And I'm going to tell you my own thoughts about it and how it feels and talk more in depth about it. First up is our classic glue. So here is a Maya one. This features classic glue or classic paste. And this is our hardest one. Um, well, actually not the hardest because Tropicana is a bit hard, more harder than that. I'll talk about that in a moment. But if we're speaking off the rack kind of um, models available with this paste, then the classic is definitely harder if we're comparing it to the lightweight elastic. As you can see, this type of paste is more firmer. I'm going to speak about what they say first about it. So classic glue is made of natural materials. The composition has adaptive characteristics. When dancers put on these shoes, under the pressure, in addition to the heat and sweat, the form of the shoe adapts to the shape of the foot. So now, what do they mean by that? Let me break it down for you. With this type of paste, as you can see, when I push it with my hands when it's new, it's very, very firm, even the wing area. Now, this is a very, very solid type of paste, and it's great for dancers that, you know, prefer this type of feeling. However, we have dancers um, that, you know, will like either paste. The important part to note here is the type of paste you choose is not going to affect your dancing. It's not going to affect the lifespan of the shoe either. In some cases, if you are the type of dancer that is more sweaty or you find that you're killing the box, the wings or the platform quicker, then you may prefer to stick with this paste or even try Tropicana. However, if you're the type of dancer that likes something a bit more flexible and comfortable and ready, more ready to wear, you might prefer the lightweight flexible, which I'll speak about in a moment. So this paste is super, super solid. As you can feel, see when I push it with my fingers, it doesn't squish at all. However, don't be put off by that <laughs> because this paste still adapts very nicely to the foot once you've worn it in say one class, once you get sweaty in it, it will start to take the shape to your actual foot. Um, and it will begin to get more pliable. So it doesn't mean that it's always going to be as hard as this. So don't panic if you're one of these dancers that doesn't like too hard a box because it does mold to your foot. Me, myself, I wear the classic Smart Paste most of the time. Um, and sure, when they're brand new, it just takes me a little bit of time. Um, I like to wear thick fuzzy socks over the top of my shoes and my warm-up booties um, and get my feet nice and warm. And then this paste really does mold beautifully to my feet. So that is our classic um, glue, also known as the classic smart paste. Next up, we have our miracle glue, also known as the lightweight elastic glue or paste. As you know, I like to use the word paste instead. So I'm going to show you that now as well. So what they say about this glue is they say that it is an innovative glue with memory effect it adapts to the foot form but stays flexible and resilient during wear you can adapt the box and the profile also known as a crown to your foot shape with your fingers so now let me describe that here is one of our models with the miracle um, paste also known as lightweight elastic paste and you you know when you look at it you can't tell the difference right you can't tell the difference from here at all it's only when you touch it so when i pick it up already it's more light away now when i push it with my fingers can you see it has a bit of a bounce back 
it has more of a, an adaptive form so I can really mold it with my fingers if I desire you don't want to go too crazy of course because you don't want to destroy the shoe but the beautiful thing about this paste is you can adapt with your hands very easily this is the profile height also known as the crown so say for example you are a dancer who likes to flatten the crown a bit and you don't want to wait for a custom order with that then you can simply just massage it down to make to make it flatter as you can see um just a top tip on that you don't want to go too crazy with pushing that down because it can make the shoe wider so act with caution on that um so that's cool it's a great paste for dancers that want to feel um more of a lightweight shoe or they enjoy the type of paste that doesn't take a little bit longer to mold to their foot now as i mentioned with the classic smart it still adapts to the foot of course but it is going to feel different on the foot this is going to feel more lightweight because it's our lightweight elastic paste still has you know the same lifespan really to be honest um but of course like i mentioned if you are a very sweaty dancer if you have a tendency to kill the box paste quicker then you may want to just try out the classic smart or the tropicana which i'll mention in a moment so it's lovely to have all these options right um and it's so nice that we can change so many different things in the shoes in custom order also known as special order so that's the lightweight elastic paste there now some of our shoes have the classic smart and some have the lightweight elastic in this video i'll go through for you which ones have which and i'll put a list and a blog post which i'm making i'll link that so you can read the notes for that too now our tropicana glue i don't have a shoe here to show you with it but again it looks the same just like the other two but it's harder a lot more firmer indeed now they say in the humid climate of high temperature the situation changes the classic glue during classes can become too soft and the lifespan of the point shoe can decrease to help our customers in countries with such climate we offer tropicana glue it's still made of natural materials but it's more stable to water and temperature we don't recommend ordering tropicana glue for cold climates as such glue can feel too hard this is also great for dancers who sweat a lot and have a tendency for the box to go soft too quickly absolutely agree with that so i've had to order tropicana glue before for dancers in more tropical climates or humid climates um and they have reported back that it definitely lasted them longer um also i've ordered it for dancers that sweat a lot more and they've had great success with it too now i don't know if you know you've probably seen some of my videos from before where i shellac the inside of the box with french wood polish um and that re-hardens the box the platform the wings but it takes a good 24 hours to dry now that's a good quick fix but it's really amazing that we have that option to order so you don't have to fuss and it's already done for you now in regards to having such a variety you might be thinking why do you need such variety well i've already gone through the great reasons why humid climates sweatier feet dancers that would prefer a lighter weight feeling in their shoe and their box paste dancers also that are younger sometimes prefer the more flexible pastes um dancers who are more lightweight um with not as strong feet sometimes enjoy the lighter weight paste as well and dancers that you know enjoy a firmer feeling shoe will of course enjoy the classic smart or the tropicana so it's good to have variety i think it's very important and i think that's just one of the another amazing facts about our brand now how to choose the best paste glue for you it's very personal there is no right or wrong solution here i recommend going to your fitter and trying the variations and seeing how you feel and working with your fitter to determine what will be better for you personally don't just assume that because you want um so for example you want the, the lightweight paste don't just instantly assume it's going to be the best option for your foot work with your fitter to get the correct combination to suit you for example i switch between the two classic smart and the lightweight flexible paste um and there's no there's no problem with that and you know there are dance plenty of dancers that can do the same and you know also the beautiful thing is is in our custom shoes for example say if you was wearing um a shoe that had the lightweight elastic paste but you want it made harder you can in the custom which is fantastic or if you wear a classic smart paste shoe 
and you want it to be lightweight flexible, again, we can do that. So that's really fantastic. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments box below. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm now going to tell you a little bit about what paste glue is in which model. First up, the classic Smart Paste. It features in 2007, 2007 Pro, 2007 Pro Flex, 3007, 3007 Pro, 3007 Pro Flex, Karcher, Maya One, Maya One Pro, Maya One Pro Flex, Fuate, Fuate Pro, Fuate Pro Flex, Alana for One, Alana for One Pro, Alana for One Pro Flex. Maya 2, Maya 2 Pro, Maya 2 Pro Flex, Elite, Elite Pro. And I would have included Vaganova on that list, but the Vaganova model actually, as far as I know, isn't produced anymore. And the Maya 2 is basically the same shoe, it's just lighter weight with a different shank, just to let you know about that. Next up, the lightweight elastic paste. It features in Exam, which is the demi point shoe, Alice. Novice 2007, Nova, Nova Pro, Nova Flex, Dreampoint, Dreampoint 2007, Pre-Arched, also known as Allure, Miracle, Triumph, Triumph Pro, Super Triumph, Super Triumph Pre-Arched, Smartpoint. Also, I just wanted to mention that in custom order, we can change where we add paste. For example, you can decide that you might want more paste to put in the platform or the wings, which is possible or you might want the paste not taken all the way up the box. We can actually do something called half box as well, where the paste is just taken up to the half point of the shoe. In fact, um, that kind of method of paste actually exists in some of our models already, um, such as this shoe here, which is the Novice 2007. The paste is not taken all the way up. Um, as you can see, when I press it, there's no paste at the top half of the shoe. Um, I don't know if it's a proper half box, but it's definitely no paste in the vamp top part of the vamp or the wings. Now, the reason they do it in these shoes in particular is because they are a beginner shoe and it, it makes less load on the metatarsals. And it's great for younger dancers or beginner dancers that um, maybe don't have such a strong foot yet. Um, and it makes it more comfortable and they can get used to the feeling of the box. Even in our demi point shoes, the box paste is not taken high up. You can request that, of course, if you want to. Um, but I just wanted to tell you about that in case some people weren't aware. Um, thank you so much for watching. I don't, I don't think there's anything else I need to cover in this video. I think I've pretty much gone through it all. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And any questions, pop them in the comments box below. Please feel free to follow me on all my social media. Give this channel a subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more regular videos.